everyone, this is Ramona coming back at you. Welcome to Magic Monday. I want to get straight to the point because um, I have a lot to say. Okay. Um, this is for the people who um, are looking for spiritual advisors online. Okay. This is a warning for you just to be really careful. Be really careful who you go to for spiritual work. Okay. Because you don't know who is on the other on the other side of the screen. They may seem like a certain way. They may seem like everything in their life is splendid. They might have like beautiful furniture in the background. They might have they look, they may have their hair done. They may look like they got all all dressed to the nines and looking like their life is like splendid. But you really don't know. Who you messing with? You really don't. Got to be really careful. And the other thing is, is that magic is nothing to be messed with. Not magic is nothing to be messed with. This is real, okay? It is a real thing. And if you think that it's okay to go to another person and you know, you want to do a love spell, or you want to do a money spell, or you want to get revenge, worse, worse, you want to get revenge on somebody, and you're like, oh yeah, here's some money, get rid of the person from me, bring or bring them down, okay? But the, the messed up thing is, is that you think, you think, that, oh, yeah, I just gave, I gave that witch a job, I gave that witch a job, and now my hands are clean of it, because maybe you, can, maybe you fully believe in it, maybe you've seen it happen before, maybe you've seen other witches do what they were doing, and, and it happened, it worked, okay? Because I believe in 100% and I have a million reasons why I believe, okay? But this is what I'm, I'm telling you. You need to really be careful who you get online. Maybe you're from, I'm from the city where there's a botanic on every single corner and there are, there are all many witches around and, you know, that I can actually go to, or word of mouth, you know, oh, oh yeah, this person's good, oh, yeah, she's kosher, yeah, she's, you know, da, 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 da. Uh, she works with this one, she's, she, you know, she works with this deity, this one, you know, okay, so, um, that's how I would go to somebody, okay, I would never hire anybody online to do any candle magic for me, and the reason why is because um, you don't know that person. Is like I said, you don't know who they're working with. Um, are they? Are they? Uh, especially a, a witch is a santeria, okay? Because they call upon their ancestors, or if it's yes, and their ancestors, but they also. Um, they trap bad witches, I mean, sorry, bad spirits to do their bidding, okay? So they might have all these, all these spirits, okay, working for them, but they're all bad, bad spirits, bad mojo, uh, uh, uh. And you're thinking, oh, Magic is magic is whatever is whatever. Like you, you think that oh that's her bag or his bag. I gave her the job to do it. Yes, it's gonna work for me. I really believe it. But there's no cords attached. There's no strings attached. What have you? I'm sorry, but the truth of the matter is, is that once you give somebody, once you hand over your free will to other people, okay, open the door to enter your life to resolve your problems, love, money, revenge, whatever it is, you're giving them 
the right to do whatever it is that they're going to do with you. Mm -hmm. And you don't know, and you think they, oh, I've been watching this witch online for like a really long time. You never know anybody online. You never know they're, who they truly are. They might be smiling, oh my God, du, du, du. you know, so nice. They may, that's 10 minutes of ear time for them. The rest of the 20, uh, uh, you know, 24 hours, the way that they live their lives, not good. I'm not saying everybody. I'm just saying, um, you know, who you go for advice, to, for an advisor, spiritual advisor, just be really careful because, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of reasons. Okay. So say, say if you hired, say if you hired a witch to, I don't know, to a, do a, a loves any spell okay now what you don't realize is that she or he is sending her spirits over to you doing whatever it is that they have to do in order in order for to make it happen and now those spirits have made it happen okay but what you don't understand is that those spirits could say now, oh, okay, now I have a cord. I have a connection to this person. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this person, they worry a lot. Oh, but yeah, let me, I can take off. Oh, they're like a, a you know, their their energy. You know, they can they can stop you of everything. Make make things bad happen to you. Um, they make things fall apart in your life. Everything. Like, these spirits will come in and rule your world and it's not good especially if you if you don't know nothing about magic you don't know nothing at all you don't know how to protect yourself you don't know how to get rid of them you don't know anything but here you are things are falling apart in your life now okay well i have this person that i want now i really don't even want him because he turned out to be fucking a lunatic so now my money is getting bad. My, my, I lost my job. I got into a, my car got, got burnt, you know, broken into. That all these bad things are starting to happen to you. It's probably why, because you're working with a bad witch, and she, in, in, you know, she set, she, she released her negative spirits, and now they're all upon you bringing you down. I'm telling you, like, these, this is this is the truth. And now here you are, a person who's never done magic, they, you know, get involved in all that stuff. Now what do you do? What do you do now? I'm trying to tell you something, so I just want you to be careful. Be very, very careful of who you go to for spiritual help. And here's here's a, a good, you know, and also here's another thing. Find out what kind of witch they are because there's there's many different kinds of witches, okay? There's ones who are like one ones who work with the earth alone. There's um there's solitary witches, there's witches in a coven. There's, um, what, what do they pray to? If I know who the person, because there are satanic witches, oh my God. Stay away from them. Because there are some sad people out there, you know, like, I understand. I've been obsessed before. Like, when I've been young before, and um, I've gotten obsessed with people like, oh my god, I really am so in love, like, oh, you know, and people get desperate, and then you lose your senses, you, you, you become very irrational, and you're not doing what you know you, the right thing to do is. So calm down, and, you know, but some people, they'll go to somebody who's a really bad, a really bad witch, okay? And they're practicing like 
satanic, sat satanism, you know, and they're like, oh, they must be really powerful, and most likely I'm not going to get what I want to get from somebody who's doing really good magic, okay, and so I might not get what I want to get, but I will from this one over here, oh my god, don't do that. If you know somebody is is practicing, is a, a Satanist, do not go to them for any help. And there are some out there who are. There's one. I um. I had her um on my channel for a really long time, like a year or something like that, and for like oh, for quite a while now. No, it's just weird. I'll be going on like with my day and what have you, and just all of, like a few times it will pop up in my head like, <clears throat> stop watching that person online. Stop watching her. Stop watching her. And the reason why is is that because I'm, I'm like, stop watching that person online because they're, they're you know the fact that she's putting up these videos. I feel like that's kind of like a ritual a spell that she's doing, where people who people who watch her videos, you know, that that's a connection. When you watch people's videos, you're open, you're listening, you're giving them your undivided attention, you're looking, right? Because you're interested. And in that time, you're 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 um you know, she could be sending or uh, doing voodoo. Do you know what I mean? She can be sending her spirits over to you. Or I'm gonna say demons as well. Okay, this one is nothing nice. And I was watching her because I just I'm just like out of interest, you know. Because I also feel like I always believe that you can't just look at one side of the story. You have to look at both sides of the story, the good and the bad. How I I see it, but I really feel like I I I felt as I was watching her and some something was telling me, Ramona, don't watch her, do not watch her. And the funny thing is, is that when I would get that that pop of an idea, do not watch her. Sure enough, she would put she would put up a video. I'm like, oh, there she is, like. And like last night, I was I was watching it, and then I just got like a really like overwhelming like <gasps> right away I I I unfriended her. I mean like, I don't know what you would call it like I unsubscribed. I oh no like I just felt like right away like oh uh oh. -uh. And the funny thing is that um, it was called bewitched, or somebody bewitched me. Yeah, and she's she. By the way, she'll let you know. Uh -uh. I might be nice. I might be ad, ad you know. I might, but she lets people know up front that she's not a good witch. She knows that she'll let you know that she's she works with demons. She works with yeah. I don't comment on her at all. I don't com. I when I before that I didn't comment. Or I just looked. So um. I unsubscribed because I just, you know. But so that's my message to you. Just be really careful. Um, there's another one that I that I watched that I had like a lot of respect for. I still have some respect for her, but I just think that she's all over the place, and I think that money is more important to her right now than um, her craft and her religion. Okay, so she was a pagan. I'm not going to tell you the name of it, um, the name of this person. She was a pagan, a pagan and a solitary witch in Wicca, which is a religion, okay? And, you know, she will school, whatever she, I mean, the woman loves, 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 loves Wicca. She loves doing candle magic. She loves doing other kind of rituals. She loves, I mean, anything, it's her, it's all she does, magic. It's her life, okay? You ever, like, see, like, a religious fanatic that goes to church, like, all the time? Like, she, they basically live in the church. 
and if they're not in the church, they're sitting there counting, the, like they're doing their rosary and saying the prayers all day. Like, that's her, but she does the wicked thing, okay? And, um, and she would actually tell people about, oh, this is how you would, um, this is how you can do a love spell, this is how you can do the, um, money spell, this is what you can do for good health and, you know, wealth, prosperity, this is what you can do, and these are what the Wiccan colors are, and this is what the oils that you use, this is how you want to energize your candles, this is, etc. She, she, and she was giving out amazing information, I'm like, oh my god, go girl, like, yep, yep, yep. These are awesome. Then, I don't know, like she got, she started getting like popular online. She started getting popular, people were, you know, and then she just, was, she ran with it. And now, but now she's not wicked anymore. Now she's into Sarkovia, and now she's got her good thing and her bad thing. And I've always knew, I always knew, because mm -mm. she was, she had some, I mean, this woman is all over the place. She also has some things that she does um, for uh, finding people. Like she's like an Avon thing, so she was recruit recruiting for that. Like she's always just looking around for business business ideas, business ideas. Like they're really turned about turned into about like money and money was like her major thing. And the sad thing is, is that a lot of her clientele are teenagers. And that is why I want to tell, like, if you're t if you're a teenager and you're watching me, or an adult, I don't care who you are, just honey, baby, babies, babies out there, <laughs> please be careful who you ask, who you turn to spiritual help for. Because I know that I like watching this woman, but I know. I knew a long time ago. Uh-uh. Yeah, it is tempting. It, that is tempting about what she's doing over there. You know, she's recruiting, and I think that it was a really good idea, but I just had, like, this strong thing about don't trust her. Uh-uh. Don't do it. Don't give her your money. Don't do it. You know. So I watch her for uh, for entertainment purposes. Um, but this woman has, throughout the years, they like, over the course of time, big She's just all over the place, and she's not doing anything good. Now she's doing things that that are nuts, like sacrificing. Oh my god! Right. Now I'm just like, and the teenager. And the sad thing is that adults are not going to her. She's got teenagers, vulnerable teenagers, gullible teenagers. Listen, if you're a teenager and you're watching and you're watching this, I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> Go and get yourself some books. Go and get yourself some books on um, paganism, Wicca, I don't know, candle magic, basic candle magic, and go start teaching yourself. And learn some basics, which are um well, there's like a lot of <laughs> we can go for the basics, but there's a lot there. But just know this one rule here. Learn this one rule. Save your money and do your cancer magic yourself because the, the reality is, is that nobody's going to put the energy, the love, the power in, in a ritual more so than yourself. Because nobody cares enough more than you do, and you will summon enough energy, you will be able to get that out and, and, and going, okay, more so than hiring some stranger out there who would give two shits. They might say, oh no, we're friends, like she does to her clients, her teenage clientele, oh no, oh this is my baby, that's my baby over there, um, Joelle, hey, oh sons, what do you, oh, you know, being, being their best friends. Meanwhile, these um, meanwhile these teenagers are rummaging through daddy's wallet looking for credit cards. That's all they're looking for. These people up online who claim that they're witches and 
they're just not not and I'm sure that she is I'm, I'm not saying that she's not but I think that she's just now she's turning to somebody she had a little bit too much money a little bit too excited and I don't know now she's in there for like a whole lot of money she said hey I can make a lot of money off of this oh yeah so okay what else can I say about about that so I mean because okay so I did you know the spirit things as well but um also um be careful who you get psychic readings from okay be really careful about that I'm not saying don't don't get psychic readings that's um that's not what I'm, I'm saying like people they do tarot cards and you know what have you um, but, the, but the problem is, is that um, I used to get those two people, two people in my life who um, I did readings for constantly, all the time. And just okay, so there's another thing I want to say that about. The, I'm going to say it first because I will forget knowing myself. Okay. You know, the people who you go to for like tarot card readings, okay, they might be really great at what they do. They can do it. Maybe they have, you know, they, they have their, their spirits talking to them. Like, you know, they're able to, they're like the real McCoy. Okay. And then plus on top of that, they got the tarot cards out and, you know, they're, they're doing really good. But those are the ones who do a combination. They, they put tied them together. So they're like, okay, I'm hearing this, and then they're in the cards as well. So, okay, this, this is where I'm headed. I'm, what I'm telling this person is the right thing. Okay. But the truth of the matter is, is that the reader um, doesn't always necessarily know who they're hearing. It could be this is gonna this is gonna be complicated. But um it could be either a spirit like a spirit, a good spirit, but it also could be a demon. Because we all have um we all have a good and a bad within us. We all have a, a good good spirits and bad spirits around us all the time. That's that's the truth. That's the reality of it. And that's why I have to do spiritual cleansing off yourself and in your home like once a month or whatever. And people who do work with energy, they have to do it more, more often than not. <laughs> but, um, so when a person is doing they might be able to to have ideas and thoughts and whatever um, or here yeah, because I can't do that okay and I explain it in a minute um, they they might be hearing something whatever it is that they hear but it's not necessary necessarily the good spirits or or the spirits of the of the person that they're doing the reading for, like their loved ones that passed over and now they're here, they might not be them. It could be demons and they'll play games. They'll they'll feed you information like, oh yeah, tell it is and tell it all. you're gonna all miss and that and that and that. And so you're telling the person and it could be like a whole bunch of lies. Which puts the person who's receiving the reading a whole like putting them in harm's way, basically. Giving, advising them in a way that they shouldn't have been advised. Um, when I used to do readings for two people, there was two people that I would, um, oh yes, okay, so that, that was the thing I was supposed to get to. Um, I, I don't under that, you know, I couldn't do it for the. It just seemed like the more that I was reading for them, there's two people. The more I was reading for them, the more and more and more and more and more I, I was reading for them, the more of a connection that we would get 
Okay, so remember how I told you that you get a connection. Be careful who you add. Get, you ask for spiritual advisor online because you are making a, a, a connection, a cord. There's a there's a there's a cord connected between you and that person. Now you're connected, and that's how the magic is get gets done over in the long distance. These people, these two friends of mine, they weren't long distance. They actually he, well, sorry, one was um, long distance. The other one, I had an actual friend here, and I used to they used to constantly ask me and ask me and ask me for readings, 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 and I didn't mind do it. I thought it was fun. Okay. And the more I read for them, the better I got, the more accurate I was getting. So I concluded from that is that you know these people who who, who other people go to online for reading, it's like they might they might hit do a lot of hitting. They're doing a lot of missing. Like how can they really connect to that person that one time? It just doesn't make it doesn't make any sense to me. I was extremely accurate with my friend who sits here with me because our our cores, our connection, were getting greater and greater and greater and greater and greater. So whenever like she would come around, I didn't even have to read the cards. Like I'm like, oh, this is gonna this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. That's gonna happen. I'll stay away from him. And I was always right. Right down to the fact that I said that you're going to get pregnant and you're going to have a little girl. The guy's going to be a complete ass asshole. Not only that, is he's going to be abusive. And she didn't believe me in that one because um, it didn't happen when we were friends. It didn't happen. It didn't happen that year. And when we stopped being friends, something happened when we stopped being friends. Um, within that year, she got pregnant. She had a little girl. I even I even described to her what the little girl was going to look like. And sure enough, she got involved with a guy, abusive to her, physically abusive, uh, abusive, not good. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I also remember. Um, when I was doing readings for her, I'd get really exhausted, really, really tired, and I would get really bad headaches. That's because um, when spirits are interacting with you, um, they are like zapping your energy. And I don't know how exactly how it is, but I was just I get these like really bad headaches. After I do the reading, I, I mean, like, my head would actually go down. Like, I'm just like, oh, oh, my God, I can't. I can't. No, I'm not doing it today. I can't. Sometimes I'd be out for, like, a really long time. I'm like, no, I can't. And it, 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 it's just, um, and then I looked at these people on TV or online, and I'm like, how do they constantly... And they're like, oh, I hear your um your loved one. I hear them the other talking to me, and they're singing this, that, that, and the other. And I'm like, that's not how it happens to me. I don't think it happens like that to them either. I think that they're full of bullshit. But I can't really say because maybe it maybe they are hearing or seeing. Because I can see out of the corner of my eye. I can feel spirits around me. Um, I know my son can definitely see them. He sees them all the time. For me, I can feel them. I can see them in the corner of my eye. I see like like the shadow on the wall. Um, and also, um, they'll come to me if I get messages. Um, like I said with my friends who, who I was doing readings for, like, um, it would be more, I can't hear the, I can't explain it, okay, I'm going to try to explain it. It's not that I hear them, like, they're over here, or they're over, like, there somewhere, like, whispering, like, you think, you know, it's not, a, it's not like that. It's more like ideas and, and thoughts. 
and you can tell it's not your own idea or your own thoughts because like you know like when you sit there and you think but you when you're thinking the voice is like in your own voice so but sometimes I would I will hear like it would be like my voice but kind of like like deeper or it's like thoughts that I would never ever ever have that are not, I know that that's not my way of thinking it's not my way of you know so like thing like just ideas just pop up like just pop in my head and I'm like oh why did I think about that you know that kind of thing um and the other thing is is that I don't think that um I don't see how they can possibly be accurate every single time I'm not accurate every single time because it's kind of confusing like I'll get like a roundabout idea about something, but not in details. Oh, it looks like this and it has a little piece of do no, whatever. I get like roundabout detail, like a um, roundabout idea. Okay, like when I was with my ex, okay, I know this is like a really long thing. When I was with my ex, uh, I would tell her, Oh, listen, be careful today. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, but something bad's going to happen to you. Please just be really, really careful today. Let me give you an example. I'm just like, do you really have to go out today? Like, I don't know. I don't know. She had a drinking problem, so I'm just like, oh, my God. I'm like, just be really careful crossing the street today. Be really careful doing this, that, 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 and the other. Please, just be really careful. Nothing happens to her all day long. Nothing happened. Night's falling. Actually, we're about to go just chill, okay? And she, get, she, she gets in the shower, whatever. And when she's ready for a shower, all of a sudden, Bam! She falls down, not only not that way, but towards the nozzle where the water comes out. And the whole uh, the like um the whole wall she busted out of the, the wall. Um the nozzle poked her in the back. She had like the big black um uh bruise on her back. She had a really bad headache for like a really long time. Her body was hurting her like just because she just went down the tub. I mean that kind of thing. Like sadly enough, I can't. I couldn't tell her like, oh, the, you, this is this is gonna happen. That's gonna happen. And this is specifically specifically is gonna happen. But I just know that. Oh, okay. I just got a really bad. Please be careful. Whatever you do today, just be, please be careful. And maybe other people, they're more, they, they can be more de detailed and stuff. I don't know. But I know for myself or something. So it's kind of like a pointless, I, mean, I don't know. Like, I guess there are times when, um, Oh, this, okay, like I'm just giving you all these examples, but I'm kind of going off the topic here. So I just wanted to let you know that just, you know, please be careful. Maybe please be careful on who you go, who you advise, spiritual advisor. Because you don't know what spirits, like if they're, you don't know what kind of well, witch they are. You don't know if they're satanic. You don't know what kind of spirits they're, they're working with. Okay, because if they pra practice something, I promise you that they're working with spirits. Okay, it could be bad spirits. Most likely, they're working with good and bad, and they don't care who the spirit is, so, because they, and, and that spirit could actually come to you and say, "Okay, yeah, you you paid money, but now what are you gonna do for me?" And the spirit could say, "Like, how can I? Why should I leave you alone? You look like you got something good, you know." energy. They're the energy like they like that. They want to make you miserable. Because you remember, remember this. Um people who are living people who are walking this earth, okay, we have the good we have good people of this earth and really bad people of this earth. And we can't explain what bad people do. 
they're either child molesters, they're murderers, they're whatever it is that you know that they do, they're just bad people. And when they die, they don't change to good. Like the same bad people, only they're invisible. And now that you've given your free will to connect yourself to a bad witch over here, now she's sending her bad spirits to you. Now what are you going to do? And you don't know nothing how to protect yourself. Last one, son. Please be really careful. And when they're doing the tarot card readings for you, you know, and they're predicting something really bad's going to happen to you, or something really good, and now you're putting all of your, you know, so she says, oh, yeah, 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 every last penny that you have, yeah, you put it in the, just, you know, trust me, trust me, I'm really getting the answer, put everything that you own in this one pile over here on this project, Ish, and, that, and that witch, a tower reader, what have you, the psychic, she very well might be getting those messages, but it's coming from demon, not from good spirit. Okay. So, um, I, I'm going to wrap it up here. It's 2.46, and I'm starving. Okay, so love you guys. Love you guys. And um, so be really careful. So, uh, so to wrap this up really careful, so you say, okay, well, what do I do? Um, you can do one or two things, okay? You can one, do one or two things. If there's, um, if, if there's things in your life that you want to alter and you want to change, um, and you want to learn about magic and stuff like that, there's a safe way of, of doing it. Number one, rely on yourself. Read, read books, okay? Learn from it from books. Also, you want to do meditation, you want to, um, just like a million different things that you can do. But never go to somebody else, and especially if they're telling you the wrong thing. Never trust anybody out there. And if you want to go to a witch, and hopefully you're in the city or what have you, word of mouth, and listen to what people are saying. Oh yeah, she works with this deity and this deity. You know, you know, because I have I've had some who work with um um deities from um the twenty twenty first division. So that's um they work with Anarisa. It's good. Um San, Santa Clara some Lazaro, um, even um, Chungo is like the, one of those seven um, African powers. And, um, okay, so, uh, okay, Santa Elena. These are deities, okay, or spirit, spirit that they do good, good, like they good spirit to go to. Now, if if you go to like a like some like a he, a Haiti he, Haiti oh my god they do like crazy they do crazy magic really bad those are the ones I hate I um like magic done by Haiti <sighs> No, no joke. Just be careful. Do your research, 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 and do your own magic. Don't go to another witch. And if you're going to go to a witch, make sure the word of mouth that they're good, that ace, and they're not satanic, and they're not doing voodoo, which is like on the dark side. Um, the, there's good voodoo, good side, the white side, and the dark side. Make sure that you go to anybody who's on the dark side. Okay, wrapping it up. Thank you, everybody, for listening to my Magical Monday. Okay, bye.